All right, this is One Last Midnight. Welcome back to another episode of Astroneer. We're doing this Let's Play. We just got done finishing the Extra Large Shredder. I asked you guys what I should do next, how I should deal with power, got a lot of great suggestions, and a lot of you want to see me do the dynamite since uh, it makes a lot of sense. And I agree. I think it does make a lot of sense that we should get dynamite taken care of, we should also get the silo taken care of, which was a suggestion from people. And let's see what kind of bites I have to be able to do that. I, I don't, 9,000 bites. Okay. I, I definitely can unlock dynamite. So let's unlock the dynamite. I mean, that's 3,700 bites. It's pretty expensive for dynamite. But let's get that taken care of. That way we can blow up the down ships or shuttles, whatever they're called. And then also, let's get the medium silo, which everybody wants to see me get. God, but I could do power. I could do power! Oh, okay, forget about it here. Come on, we said silo. You guys said silo. We're doing a silo. Medium silo. Taken care of. Okay. And that, that still kind of leaves me up. Well, I could do wind. Glass and ceramic, man. That would help a lot. The other suggestion was to get the battery. So why don't I wait to get the medium battery? Because the medium battery is really going to help me. Of course, people want the RTGs. But that, man, that's a lot of bites. And the way that I'm doing bites right now, it's just kind of trickling in. It's not really huge. But in order to do the uh, dynamite more effectively, I'm going to have to set up a base on Kalidor. So let me get started on that. Let me set up, get everything that I need to get the atmosphere condenser built. I think probably the smelter built, uh, the printers built, some platforms, all that stuff. And we'll head off to Calador and get that all set up and configured. All right, so let me do that. I'll be right back. All right, so I've been gathering up a bunch of resources. I have the items that I need to make the atmosphere condenser, which are iron, glass, and plastic. And that's sitting right here. I have the items I need to make the smelter, which are uh, just some resin and some compound. And those are right there. I was thinking about taking, I have one extra space here. I was thinking about taking a silo with me uh, just to be able to hold stuff, more stuff. And actually, and actually, let's do this. Yeah, let's actually take the silo with me. I was waiting for this. Uh, aluminum to process so I can make a solid field thruster. But then let's make, see, so uh, titanium here. Let's make a silo instead of taking a small storage, the medium storage, excuse me. Let's go ahead and take a silo with us. That'll give us a little bit more space to be able to carry stuff around. So we unlock that silo. Now, while I was down in the caves, I did run around and get the research samples that were growing down there. Sorry I didn't turn the timer on, but the timer is on now. I've been playing for 24 minutes. And so, I think what I'm going to do, since I have the bites, I'm going to unlock the medium solar. I don't think I can unlock both of them. I'm a little shy of both of them. But let's unlock the medium solar. We are going to Calador. Oh, I can do both. We are going to Calador, by the way. So I should be able to get plenty of uh, copper there to be able to make medium solar to run the base. And oh, shoot. I didn't get the battery. I said I was going to get the battery first. Okay, we're not, we're not far from getting the battery. So we'll get the battery next. I forgot that I was going to get the battery. Let's put this... Let's unpack the silo. Let's get our... Come on, baby. Let's get our thruster packed on there. And let's transfer everything over. I think this is going to give us so much more room. Yeah, that's the way to go. That's the ticket. We'll take all these resins. I mean, I have enough titanium, I could probably take even another package silo with me. Or, it doesn't matter, I could take the resources for the silo. Let's take the resins and the compound. Just in case I need it. Let's take some glass. Uh, do I have any ceramic? 
I don't. And let's... I have... Well, okay, take that back. I do have, like, a couple. Transfer these over. Oh, should I take the wide mod with me? Mmm, I was thinking about taking the wide mod with me, maybe. Take this ceramic. Should probably also take the graphite with me too. I could take, use them as packagers. Let's take the graphite, let's take the ceramic. Let's take this extra storage over here. We're gonna spin up some ceramic. Some ceramic. <laughs> We're gonna spin up some clay and convert that into ceramic. Pull this guy off. Let's make another silo. I am gonna take another silo with me. I'll just package it up, leave it there. Put it on this thing right here. And do I have enough copper to take with me? Ooh, I only have one piece of copper. Dang it, I thought I had two pieces of copper. Alright, I'm not worried about copper. We'll leave copper here. I can get copper there. These guys are gonna run okay. They'll probably be empty by the time that I get back. Let's go ahead and fire this stuff up here. While I have- Ooh, wait! I have two copper. That'll get me started on my power situation. Auto arm's doing what it's supposed to do. Good. Take a couple extra pieces of glass. To get me started on wind. I, I don't think, I think, uh, what is it? The uh, Astropedia says it's, I think it's wind. Calidor is um, a solar, not wind, right? Yeah, wind is low, so sun is very high. Depending on where I land, right? If I get a good landing spot, I'm not stuck in some crappy area. So to speak. All right, a couple pieces of ceramic, just in case I needed it. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to take off. Uh, let's leave. We'll leave a glass. We don't need that much glass. Okay, and do I have a beacon? Okay, I have a, I have a quartz for a beacon. Now, the only thing that I don't have is a platform. I could use this platform A. To make the first print. And there's an oxygenator here. Yeah, well, you know what? I need to take both of those. Uh, we're leaving the glass. Okay. Alright, now we're ready to go. Ready to travel. Calidor! Let's see if I can get close-ish. To a gateway. I mean, that would be nice. It would be nice to get close-ish to a gateway. Everybody likes North and South Poles. Uh, I don't mind that. I mean, I'd be okay on the north-hand side. But if I can't find anything close to a gateway, then I'm, I'm not going to bother. Like, this is really close to a gateway. I'm going to do this, just because of the proximity to the gateway. And not bad. I, I think it's a decent spot. I got Wolfermite over there in the background. I got a gateway. Oh, cool. I got a nice little area over here that kind of had uh, somebody at one point in time was living in this area. Oh, dang it. I didn't want to take that off of there. Thank you very much. Uh, this ground could be a little bit flatter, but hey, all right. Beggars can't be choosers. Is this still providing oxygen? Oh no, not this one. It was uh, it was the other one, right? This could be blown up into little bitty bits. We got a nice little sample here. We could take back with us. Ooh, and a working medium solar. Get out of here. Nice. 
All right, let's get set up. All right, I decided to move up on top of this hill so that I could get a little bit better uh, sun power. And let's go ahead and start getting the, what is it, um, sulfur? Let's get sulfur going. All right, we've got enough boom boom juice ready to be able to go back. I mean, it's not a ton, right? But it's it's six containers filled, so it's 30. That's 30 pieces of dynamite. I think it's 30 pieces of dynamite. And yeah, I mean, we're doing okay. We got a little base set up here, but I think before we go back to Silva, I want to empty this out. Well, I want to keep the compound, but I want to empty this stuff out. Get some more resources and let's go quickly build up a base on Vesania to get some laterite. I do happen to have enough trickle bites have come in that I've got enough for the medium battery. So let's unlock the medium battery. We need lithium, we need zinc. I'm also going to need to be able to build up, uh, let's see, another atmospheric or another oxygenator. Another uh, thruster, solid fuel thruster, and uh, probably, I, I think that's probably if, you know, maybe a small platform A or something like that to put the oxygenator on. And a beacon. I need a beacon. I need quartz. Oh, you're, uh, I haven't seen any quartz around. Uh, I did go over here, went down into the cave to get a little bit of laterite. But I didn't see any quartz while I was down there. Let me let me just go check. I haven't been harvesting these samples. If I do harvest these samples, I'm going to research them on Silva and not do an instant uh, research. I don't know. I'm just playing a little I'm playing a little differently, right? I mean, normally I would have just I would have just done that. I would have just taken it. Ooh, quartz what I wanted and there's plenty of malachite here I knew there'd be some quartz in this area bevakes get a piece or two all right good or three be good Nice bit of malachite. Can have power for days and days and days. I'm not going to worry about that right now. I think I have enough power to be able to in intermittently... Let's take that with us. Be able to in intermittently run uh, my atmosphere condenser. And and that's kind of what I want. I, I just want a, an intermittent running of that. I also noticed that the shadow of the gateway is interfering with getting solar power. So I want to move my solar off to this side. And I should be able to get solar a little bit sooner that way. Okay, I have everything I need to take off to go to Vesania. Let me just turn this on. And so, by the time we come back here next time, this silo should be completely filled. Let me also grab just some basic resources. Get some compound, get some resin with me, just in case. Alright, we're out of here. Thruster, oxygenator, small platform. Let me take one piece of aluminum just in case something goes wrong. So I can make another thruster. We're done. Let's get out of here. Go to Vesania, pick up some lithium, get back home. Okay, that's decent enough. Set down our platform. Get our oxygenator out. Let's take this thruster off. And put down a new thruster. And let's take our storage out. And get some... 
tethers. I don't know if I'm going to need all these tethers, but... I might have a way into the caves here. I, I don't know. I think that these kind of canyon pieces don't really run down. They run more horizontally than vertically. Uh, a couple nasties over that way. I could punch a hole right here, see where it goes. Let's do that. Let's just punch a hole right here. Oh, that tether didn't connect up. Dang it. I think I see some lithium way over here. Let's open up my landing a little bit better. Let's just go take a peek over here on this side too. Yeah, that'll work. It's a decent amount. Okay, let's get out of here. I left a beacon. Got myself an oxygenator. Relatively close to a gateway. Looking good. Time to get back to Silva. Alright, let me take this solid fuel thruster off just so I'm not confused. It has partial use, it doesn't have a full use, and I don't want to get messed up. Alright, well this is pretty productive. I mean, I think we did a really good job this time around. We've got a couple bases set up. We have the battery complete and ready to go. We have a bunch of lithium. So we should be able to make some medium batteries here. No problem. We've got enough to like put two on every base, actually, and that should really help out. And we've got stuff to make our dynamite.
Which is... Let me just double check. I don't remember if it's two or one. I think it might be two. Okay, one sulfur, two carbon. So we're going to have to get a bunch of carbon. And we've got enough bites. Let's unlock the inhibitor mod. And that's really going to help out with collecting the organic that we need to make all of that carbon. But I think that's where I'm going to leave it today. So, I think the next episode, we've been working towards getting this shredder up and running and productive. And I think I followed your guys' suggestion. We've got the stuff ready for dynamite so that we can blow up the stuff. We're, we're pretty much ready to shred. I have unlocked some power for some power solutions for our little shred sled. But let me know this any suggestions where you guys want me to go next. I think what we are going to do next is we're going to do what we've been trying to achieve for a while, which is get this shred this uh shred sled up and running and collecting stuff. So that might be the next episode. And then in the following episodes, you know, we're going to have to go ahead and and repopulate all of this. Oops, I didn't realize this was outside of the grabbing radius. There we go. Okay, now it's all it's kind of all in the grabbing radius. And we're going to have to repopulate these research samples and keep this going because this is the only thing bringing in bites. Well, there's one over on Glacio bringing in bites, but I don't think it's bringing in an enormous amount. We need to go back and check on it because, man, I don't think it's really producing anything, to be honest with you. I've got to figure out what's going on with that, but that that's for a later time. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the community. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, you can find the links in the description below. And make sure to hit that notification bell. That way, you know when I go live and when I post new videos. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.